Hello YouTube, TJ This Life here. Today I have a special video for you guys. And some of you asked me to do this full knife collection video. So this is it. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. In this box are 40 knives out of my collection. And I have another like 15-ish knives in another box, which I will show later. Let's go over these 40 knives first. Uh, starting from this one. Uh, this one is a uh, Savivi Spiny Dogfish uh, Black G10 Handle Deep Carry Pocket Clip and I believe it's Stone Washed uh, 14C 28N Steel and this one is a Gavco design as you can see the logo here Gavco uh, pretty cool knife can see the compound grind here. Super cool. And the ergos are great. It's a liner lock. You can use this hole here to do reverse flick. Super good action. Drop shotty. And I have another one um, which is OD Green uh, G10 and black DLC plate super cool knife um, moving on to number three is my Svivi Sakok this is a some stud and front flipper knife As you can see action is good and this one is a really laconical design Super cool. I have another version of this knife, which is brown micarta version. I like this brown micarta version better because, uh, yeah, it just looks cooler and with some patina, it just shows some character of the knife. And I believe this one is 14C, yeah, 14C 28N steel as well. Langer lock, deep carry pocket clip, super cool budget knife. Oh, the spiny dogfish costs around like 50 ish, and this Sukkok costs around, I would say, 60 ish. Yep. Uh, moving on to my next one is the classic Savivi Elementum. Uh, however, this one is a button lock. I think they call this one Savivi uh, Elementum 2. Yep, I believe, yeah, this one is Nitro V Steel, black DLC plate, and green uh, G10 handle, deep carry pocket clip as well, and the button locks works perfectly. No lock stick, super good action, classic looking knife. Yeah, uh, moving on to the next one is another CVV Elementum. This one is a limited edition. I think it's for their 10 year anniversary. And this one has that jungle looking uh, fat carbon fiber scale and matching deep carry pocket clip. I believe the steel is S35VN. Yeah, I think it's here. S35 VN steel and this one has that uh, kind of hollow grind satin finish blade on it this one is a liner lock super good flipping action then the lock works perfectly as well yeah really cool knife and then the next one is my Savivi rifle uh, as you can see this one has that carbon fiber Kind of scale and Damascus blade looks super cool. Liner lock as well, and you can use the hole to some flake and also using the flipper. Super cool knife. Yeah, I think this one is so underrated. It costs around like $80 ish super budget friendly yep 
moving on to the next one is my Civivi Conspirator. This one is another button lock. This one, I believe, is a knife center exclusive. Uh, this one has satin finish, S35VN steel, button lock, and deep carry pocket clip, which I swapped with this uh, cool looking titanium pocket clip. And it's reversible. The action on this uh, conspirator is super good. And this one has that uh, smooth aluminum handle. I believe the base model for this one has that micarta handle. But this upgraded knife center exclusive one has uh, aluminum handle and a certified VN steel. Yep, moving on to the next one is my Ferrum Forge Stinger. This one has green G10 handle, deep carry pocket clip, and I believe the steel is natural V steel. Yeah, super good looking knife. And the ergos are super good. Uh, there's a four finger twirl here. Super good action as well. Very EDC friendly. And I have another version of that knife, which is in titanium handle and uh, carbon fiber inlay. And this one is a uh, frame lock. The other one is a uh, liner lock. Yep, this one also has that natural V steel. Uh, the the G10 version uh, is around like 80 ish dollars, and this one is around like 200 ish. Yep, super cool knife. Okay, moving on to the next one is my uh, Tactile Knife Co collection, and this one is the Tactile Knife Co Rock Wall. Super good action. This one has a uh, magnet cut blade steel, drop hole and blade shape, titanium melt handle, liner lock, super good looking knife, very minimalistic. I bought this one on the secondary market for around like 200 ish. Uh, I think it's super worth it. Okay, moving on to the next one is my Tactile Knife Co. Trooper Cabra. This is their newest release. Uh, this one has black uh, aluminum handle, super lock, magnet cut blade steel, uh, super cool knife. Ergos are great. And the super lock is very Fiji friendly, just like the Demco shark lock. And there's some stock you can use or you can use the super lock to swing it out like that really cool knife I think this one cost around like 250 ish yep moving on to the next one is their higher end production knife this one is the Tactile Knife Co Archer and this one is a TJ Schwartz design and Super good looking knife. Very drop shotty. And I think this one looks amazing. And with the feather melt titanium handle and this magnet cut blade draw point. Looks super sexy. And the action on this knife is just perfect. Drop shotty snappy action yeah this knife is in my top five list okay moving on to the next one is my uh, Vero engineering XL mini and this one has titanium handle uh, frame lock and stone wash the blade which is like a warning kind of blade shape super EDC friendly and yeah 
I really like the Axon design. Looks super clean. That's why I bought another like regular version, but this one is a liner lock instead of the frame lock. Super good size um, compared to the mini. You can see this one has more blade and more handle as well. And I also have that this black DLC version of the Axon. This one I bought it on the secondary. Uh, as you can see, it's used quite often. There's some scuff uh, and wear on this, but I think it looks super badass still. And this one has that Time Masters, uh pocket clip and backspacer. Cool, moving on to the next one is my Spiderco Para 3. This one I customized myself uh, using the rock scale design uh, slim uh, titanium handle and MXG deep carry pocket clip. And I also added the OCD for EDC CME compression lock made easy. And yeah, and some third party uh, backspacer. And yeah, moving on to the next one is my Spiderco PM2. This one I customized myself as well using uh, Flytanium titanium scales and also lanyard plug and MXG pocket clip and the OCD for EDC CME here as well. And this one is a satin finish stone wash. Um, both of them have S35 VN steel, which I think is really good for edge retention and cutting performance. I use it quite often. It's still, it's still sharp. Yeah, I haven't sharpened it once. Super good performance. And then uh, this is my latest uh, addition uh, from Spiderco. This is their SOT series uh, PM2. Super good looking blacked out knife. This one has magnet cut blade and this fish skill kind of uh, handle, which is really grippy. Yeah, and I added the uh, MXG deep carry pocket clip as well. Yeah, moving on to the next one is uh, is my Quiet Carry Drift Large, and this one has a one X steel, which is completely stainless. It's super good for like a camping knife. Yeah, this one is on washer. But the the action is super smooth. Really like, yeah, super good action on this knife. Okay, moving on to the next one is my Protect Malibu. Uh, this one has a black aluminum handle, twenty CV steel, and the blade is SA etched. Looks super cool. The action on this is so good. Very, very fidget friendly. Yeah, super good looking knife. One of my favorite knife from uh, Protect. Yeah, that's why I bought another two of those. And this one is a blacked out uh, version that has textured um, aluminum handle and 20 CV black DLC blade. Super good action as well. This one has a little bit of lock stick, uh, but I think with some opening and closing, this lock stick will go away. And this is my latest product acquisition. 
This one has the black dragon skill aluminum handle, which I think looks amazing. And as you can see, the button has that mother of Poe uh, inlay, stone washed 20 CV steel. Super good action on this one as well. Yeah. And moving on to the next one is my Portek Mordex. This one has that honeycomb kind of textured aluminum handle and magnet cut blade steel. Super good ergo on this one. Super good action as well. Probably the best button lock knife I ever handled is this one, the Perdex Murdex. Okay, moving on to the next one is uh, Neff's Lender. This is the limited edition blue uh, solar kind of milling on this handle. And this one is number 17 out of 50. This one is a liner lock. This is their first uh, lender release. Uh, lender 1. And I also have their Lender 2, which is a uh, carry commission and knives collaboration. This one has that clutch lock and S35 VN steel. The clutch lock on this knife works perfectly. Super good looking knife. This one has that topo kind of engrave on this micarta handle. Deep carry pocket clip, which is reversible and recessed. Just perfect knife in my opinion. And moving on to the next one is my Lander 3. As you can see, this one has that Lander 1 size, but had that clutch lock on the Lander 2. It's like best of both worlds for Lander 1 and 2. And this one is EDC friendly and very fidget friendly as well. Super cool knife. And moving on to the next one is my uh, Asher Knives collection. This one is the Asher Spiro that has a warning kind of a blade shape. This one has the S90V steel. Super good looking knife. And the handle is silver uh, carbon fiber, wired pocket clip, which is reversible, liner lock, super good action on this knife. This only costs around $135, which I think is a no-brainer. That's why I bought another version of the Sparrow. This one has that drop point blade, also S90V steel. And this one has a cool backspacer, uh, silver carbon fiber handle, and deep carry wired pocket clip. Yeah, super cool knife. And the next one is the titanium version of the Sparrow. This one has drop point blade as well, S35VN steel titanium handle and deep carry pocket clip which is reversible super good knife and this one only costs around 135 i think which makes this one super worth it for what you're getting yep okay moving on to my demco knife collection this is uh, demco ad 20.5 this knife is my first uh, Demco knife purchase. Uh, I customized myself using uh, 
rock scale design slim titanium scales and this one has that os 10a blade steel super good uh, fiji friendly knife as you can see i put a mirror finish on the edge which makes it super slicey yeah and then moving on to the next one is the uh, carbon fiber scale version of the 80-20.5 and this one has a clip point blade 3v steel moving on to the next one is the textured titanium uh, handle version of the 20.5 also in uh, shark foot blade shape and 3v steel super cool knife that's why I bought three of the 20.5 moving on to the next one is my AD20S S means slim uh, compared to the full thickness one this one has a singer blade stock I believe this one is a uh, yeah 24 24p steel and 10 G10 handle draw point blade looks super cool action is phenomenal and moving on to the next one is the natural G10 handle version of the 8020 this one has that spear point blade and magnet cut blade steel super good looking knife in my opinion really love the spear point blade very Fiji friendly yep and then moving on to the next one is my textured titanium version of the 8020 and this one has a full flag grind blade and in clip point I believe it's uh, this one is uh, in CPM 3V and definitely one of my favorite knives in my collection and moving on to the next one is my V solid uh, this one is in bronze titanium handle uh, and 3D melt pocket clip and this one has that uh, special flipper tab uh, this knife is a collaboration with GTC as you can see the flipper tab will disappear when you open the knife which is I think is genius design because uh, that makes this knife super clean looking uh, when open yeah this one has black DLC uh, plate I believe is in 20 CV steel frame lock super good drop shotty action and snappy opening super good looking knife and this one is an integral design and I have another variant that's in uh, this gray polished finish uh, looks super cool as well and another one in the beat blast uh, kind of finish this is probably my favorite out of those three looks super futuristic and one of my top 10 knives in my collection okay the next one is a super weird one this one is from uh, Reich knife I think the model name is Lamella and this knife has a special feature you can turn this thing up and then the knife will come apart the scale will come off like that and then it will show the pivot screw and body screw for you to disassemble it 
super cool knife design. And when you're done, you can just uh, pull this scale back like that, and then close the switch like that, and then it's good to go. It's a flipper knife, but you can also use the thumb tab here to open it. And this knife looks badass. It looks like a knife that uh, people would use in a like an alien movie. Super cool Persian style blade shape. Uh, I believe it's in M390 blade steel. And the serial number is number 46. Okay, that concludes the 40 knives in this box. Let me um, bring out the other box. Okay, as you can see, this one is actually a display box I bought from uh, Home and Hatfield. It has this display area for seven knives, and then there is a drawer underneath here that can store more than like 12 knives okay the first knife uh, here is the piece parrot knife this is their first uh, fixed blade they put out this one has S35VN and the serial number for this knife is 764 and their logo here looks really badass and the blade is SAH'd super good looking in my opinion micarta handle and brass uh, hardware and moving on to the next one is their second version uh, this one is a scally I put some paracord uh, onto the handle which makes it more grippy and this one is in M390 blade steel and same kind of as they edge the blade, which is in uh, draw point blade shape. Super cool looking knife. And the third one is their third version of the uh, piece parry knife fixed blade. This one has titanium handle and M390 blade steel. Same as they edged blade in uh, drop point blade shape. This is probably my favorite out of those three because this contoured titanium handle is just so comfortable when using. Okay, and uh, moving on to the next one. And this one is the Urban EDC Supply uh, i5.5. Super good looking knife. Very EDC friendly. Uh, M390 blade, which is SE etched as well. And black uh, micarta handle. And deep carry pocket clip. Super good looking. And the ergos are amazing on this knife. Okay, and moving on to the next one is the piece parry knife folder. This one is their first folding knife. Super good action. Very good design language, I think. Um, very minimalistic. S35VN steel. Uh, frame lock. Deep carry pocket clip. Okay, uh, moving on to the next one is the uh, Baby Banter family. Um, as you can see, this one is a warny blade shape and purple micarta handle, liner lock, deep carry pocket clip, and the steel is natural V. Very good uh, fist pocket knife yeah and I have another version of the baby banter 
This one I think is the Christmas edition. Uh, the red and white color combo. Super good for like a Christmas gift. Yep. And the next one is my customized baby venture that has flightanium titanium skills and black uh, DLC plate which which it has that natural V steel as well. Okay, uh, the next one is my V banter that has V remote kind of skills. This knife is perfect if you are a gamer. Yeah. Game night carry for sure. And the next one is actually uh, Mr. Mr. Designs uh, Zero. This one is super minimalistic as well. It's a button lock and has wired pocket clip. And the blade is in M390 and full fly grind set and finish. Very slicey. Okay, moving on to the one on top. The first one is the Grinsmo Norseman. This one has that bronze cross hatch kind of melding and ice blue hardware. And the blade shape is like a tanto with some recurve. Super interesting blade shape. And action is just phenomenon. Very, very sharp shotty. Cool. And the next one is Greensmo Rusk. This one has a uh, silver dragon skill. And then uh, this one has that stone washed, kind of like a draw point blade. And the steel is CPM 154. Super good looking knife. One of my favorite knives in my collection. Next one is my uh, Chris Reeve knife collection. Uh, this one is the Incozy uh, that has natural micarta inlay, and I added the MXG deep carry pocket clip. This one is in drop point blade and S thirty five VN steel. Super reliable knife. The knife is in washer, so it's not drop shotty, but uh, it's really glass smooth. Okay, the next one is my uh, CRK Umenzong. This knife is so badass. It has a kind of like a harpoon steel uh, draw point blade. This one is in magnet cut blade steel and I added MXG deep carry pocket clip and the G2H uh, backspacer super good looking knife in my opinion and very reliable and this one has a glass breaker built in which is super cool Okay, moving on to the next one is my SPK Lamia. And this one is a Gen 2 uh, that has a crew wear steel and monochrome kind of looking uh, handle. Super good action on this one. And I 
asked some professional to do like a bearing mod on this knife. So now the action on this knife is just perfect. You can see perfectly smooth and drop shady. And yeah, I think this knife is gorgeous looking and also such a slicer. Full fly grind. And there are some milling on this knife as well. I don't know if you can see it, but um, just micro milling on the blade. Super cool. And the last two knives are my Rosie collection. Uh, Oz Machine Company Rosewell. This one is a PJ version that has blue uh, accent hardware. This knife, it's just perfectly designed and super good looking, in my opinion. And last but not least is my Silver Surfer. This probably is my favorite knife in my collection. Very drop shotty. The action is tuned to be perfect. And I really love the golf parter milling. And this one has that uh, full fly grind drop point blade, which is just such a slicer. Okay, I think that's it. If you have any question about these knives, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.